Hello, Royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal news and analysis. Megan's critics will always find something to criticize her with. So this story is that Meghan Markle finally spoke about the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to strike down the right to abortion in her latest conversation with Vogue magazine. While the Duchess of Sussex has been praised for her views and speaking up for women, on the other side, peoples are exposing her for a PR stunt while focusing on actual facts and figures. But before we move on further to further details, I'd like to thank you, all of you, for sharing your limitless love and support. Thank you. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now, and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so you know when I post videos. If you really enjoy my content, please support me via Patreon. Your support would highly be highly appreciated. Please, thank you so much, everyone. Really appreciate it. Now, while the Duchess of Sussex has been praised for her views and for speaking up for women for some people are spreading negativity while focusing on things that never actually happened. Some people are claiming that the original article by Vogue magazine put her name as Meghan Markle, which the formal American changed to the Duchess of Sussex when she reposted the Artwell website. Also, recently, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were spotted on a rare outing this week. The pair were snapped, making a rare visit to Oprah Winfrey's million-dollar estate. This visit has sparked claims that they may be preparing for another tell-all interview following on the floor of their bombshell 2021 televised talk. And I have to say, this is rumored tell-all interview plus ongoing Sussex's title feud puts Harry and Meghan back into the limelight. Even a royal historian also recommended Sussex's a solution if Meghan Markle and Prince Harry wants to avoid criticism for still using their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles. I just need to stop referring to themselves as Duke and Duchess. As simple as that. So I think they should step away from using their titles and they should just use Meghan Sussex or Harry Sussex. There is so much precedent for that, especially in the United States. I'm not degrading them at all. I just think it would lessen the tension if they didn't use the titles to say, hey, we're just going to use in the credits, Megan Sussex, Harry Sussex. There's nothing actually wrong with that. But I guess we'll have to wait and see if this turns out to be something after all. Who knows? What do you guys think? So what do you folks think about it? Do you guys also think Harry and Megan should drop their royal titles? Do you think as an ex-senior royal they deserve it? Write it down in the comments section below. Let me know what you think. And also, if you never want to miss any sizzling royal updates like this, like, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So, until next time, guys, hasta la vista.